Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 10 things that your iPhone could do and you probably didn't even know about. Now, another thing that you can do right now that you might not know about is that you can really help out a lot by subscribing to my channel. Now, we're trying to reach 300,000 subscribers here and of course, I have noticed that most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So, please make sure to subscribe and of course, leave a like on the video. All right, so we're starting with with the mail app. Now, I didn't know this trick and this hidden feature myself until today. It's pretty cool. You know that on iOS, you can go into a web page, take a screenshot, and then of course, save the full page as a PDF file. But did you know that you can actually do that on emails as well? So if I go to the mail app, here I have an email, I can go ahead and just take a screenshot of the first page here. And then I will be able to actually turn this into a full page. And you can see, I can actually save the full email as a PDF file. You will even have here separate pages on for different emails, of course, and you can go ahead and even choose which page you want to remove and which page you want to keep. So if I tap delete right there, I can go ahead and delete just one page. So I, here I have all the different pages. And of course, once you're done, you tap done right there, then you can go ahead and save this as a PDF on the files app. So take a screenshot of a full email and even edit the pages and save that as a full PDF file. Now this one right here is very useful and of course the easiest way to share any image you want on iMessage and you can do that with Siri. The way you do that, all you have to do is just go to any image you want and just ask Siri, send this to test M. And just like that, you can see the image is ready to go. You can just tap send and you can send any image you want from the photo library directly to one of your contacts using Siri. Now on the phone app, when you get a call, of course you can tap on the mute button to actually mute the microphone, but you will mute just yourself and you can still hear someone talking. So let's say you're in a room and you want to completely mute the call. Now the way you do that is simply by, of course, once you have actually accepted that call, what you gotta do is tap and hold the mute button until it turns into hold. And you will see it will turn after three or four seconds. So let's just try it out. And just like that, you can see after we have hold the button, the mute button for like three or four seconds, it now will turn into hold and the call is now on hold, which means that both sides are muted, not just you. And you can still hear the other person talking. And if you are on the speaker, then of course that will be really bad. So if you want to mute both sides, you tap and hold the mute button and it will turn into hold. And this way you're holding the call. On the iMessage app on iOS, if you have a message, let's say I have a message here for some from someone or for someone, and of course I want to send the same one to another person, all I gotta do here is just simply drag that message like this and just go back and I can go ahead and quickly drop it right there and send that message to another person. So if you have like a longer message or something like that, you don't wanna type it, of course, you don't wanna copy it or anything, all you gotta do is simply drag it and you will be able to actually send the same message to anyone you want. So just like that, again, go back and simply drop it on the name. It will go straight right here to the message field and of course paste it automatically. And this one right here is pretty cool. On the Photos app, you can actually search for photos based on the devices the photos have been taken with. So right here on the search field, I just searched for the iPhone X, the iPhone 10, of course, and you can see right there, it will show me the image that has been taken with that iPhone. So if I go right there, you can see here we have this image. So just like that, it will find images that you have taken with certain devices. So even if someone, let's say, airdrops you some photos and they have a different device from you, you can just search for that device and you will be able to actually find those photos. You can see right here, it shows that the photo has been taken with the iPhone 10 as easy as that find any picture based on the devices they have been taken with. Now this one right here is one of my favorite features of the Shortcuts app that probably a lot of people don't know about and don't even use it. I did share this once when I did an automation video. It is really, really useful. So let's say 
you want to have basically a certain setting turned on or off automatically when you go to one of your apps. And what I'm talking about here is orientation lock. A lot of people keep orientation lock on, but when you go to an app that you want to watch videos like YouTube, for example, of course, you will have to go out of the video, go to the control center to actually turn it off. But what you can do is actually go to automations and create a personal automation here and once you have tabbed there, what you need to do is go ahead and tap on app. Now, when it's open, you can go ahead and choose here to YouTube, let's say. So here we have YouTube done when it's open. Next, search for orientation lock. So here we have orientation lock and just go ahead, tap right there on toggle and tap on turn and then make sure to tap right there to turn off. So if we tap next, disable this, don't ask and click done. Now you can see right here, I can turn on orientation lock, but if I just open YouTube, it will automatically be turned off. So if we go to the control center, you will notice now it has been turned off. But what you can do, of course, is just create a, like a counter action that when you get out of the app, you turn on it back, of course, automatically. If you want to do that, you basically do the same. Just choose the, of course, when, when closing the app and then choose turn on orientation lock and you will be able to actually automatically have it turned on and off based on whether you open or you close the app that you want. With iOS 15, Apple has introduced the new way to actually scan text on iOS. You can use the camera or you can use the text scanner from basically anywhere on iOS. But did you know that if you try to do that, so let's just do it here, you can basically do it anywhere you want on iOS, you will get this little camera right here. And what you can do from here is actually just swipe up. And if you're trying to scan a larger like document or text or something like that, maybe from a book, this will be very, very useful. You can use the full screen camera to much, much easier capture any text you want and scan it with your device. You can, of course, even use this on the landscape mode. And just like that, you can insert any text you want. The next one is not useful, it's just fun to have. With iOS 15, you can have a little icon on the status bar that you might like, or maybe it means something to you. Just a fun little icon. Of course, this is just for fun, nothing else. What you need to do is go to the focus here and tap on the plus button, tap on custom focus. And what you need to do now is choose the icon that you want to have from these icons right here. Maybe you want to have something like, let's say this like fire or maybe a heart or something like that. What we can do is just go ahead and select the icon that we want to have there. And then once we have done that, we need to go ahead and choose the color. So you can see we have different colors right here. And once you choose the color, what you got to do is enter a name here for that. So let's just go ahead and enter a name here. And once you have done this, just go ahead and of course, tap the next button and from here make sure you just choose allow calls from anyone because when you're enabling this to see that little icon you don't want to actually block any calls and this is the tricky part right here because you will need to actually add all of your apps here so that you can receive notifications from all of them when this is turned on so just tap right here and just make sure you select all of your apps and of course enable time sensitive notifications right here tap on allow and you're good to go now what you can do here of course always make sure that you allow all people and all apps and this won't then actually have any effect at all on your device it will just display that little icon when you turn it on so you can see all the time you will have that little icon right there on the status bar which actually looks really really cool and of course it adds a nice touch to the home screen and lock screen of your device next up we're moving to the app library the easiest way to delete apps and add apps to your home screen go to the app library search field and just 3d touch on any of the icons it won't work here on the name just on the icon and from here can delete the app or add it to the home screen as easy as that this is the quickest and the easiest way to do that and of course using the search bar you can quickly find the app that you need if you have a shipment number that you need to track with ios 15 all you have to do is just take a screenshot of the tracking number and then you can track that shipment directly from the photos app simply tap right there tap on the shipping number and you can see 
track shipment just like that you will be able to actually do that directly from here it will open it of course on safari here and will display anything that you need to know regarding that shipment so that's basically it for this video guys these are 10 things that you can do with your iphone and you probably didn't even know about thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one